Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And we're continuing a look at the life of King David. Now, we're in 1 Samuel 24, and much has happened to David. He's gone from being the champion of Israel to being an exile. I mean, he was son-in-law to the king for a moment. Now he's being hunted by King Saul uh, as a criminal. And, and uh, by the way, if that was you, would you complain? Would you be bitter? Would you be angry about your situation? I, I think I probably would. I'd be going, God, why are you letting this happen to me? Uh, but David is different. I mean, he's really different. So Saul has been pursuing David relentlessly, chasing him throughout the, uh, the wilderness, trying to catch him and kill him. And David and his men are hiding in a cave. Must have been a big cave, but it was a cave. And they're hiding there, trying to avoid capture and being killed by King Saul. And Saul happens uh, to be traveling with his men, and he's the king, and he's got to go to the bathroom. So he wants someplace private to relieve himself. So he sees this cave, and he goes into this cave, and David and his men are in the back of this cave. They can see Saul. Saul can't see them. You know, he's come in from the sunshine. It's dark. But he's like, okay, it's cool in here. And here I can take a squat and, and relieve myself. And while he's doing that, David's men are like, look, God has delivered the king into your hand. You can strike him down right now. And, and David's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to cut a piece of his robe off so I can kind of show him that I had mercy and compassion on him. And uh, here's what he said in verse 6 to his men. He said to his men, the Lord forbid that I should do this thing to my Lord, the Lord's anointed, to put out my hand against him, seeing he is the Lord's anointed. So David persuaded his men with these words and did not permit them to attack Saul. And Saul rose up and left the cave and went on his way. Now again, Saul, uh, after Saul had left, David went out and told him what he had done, showed him the piece of his cloak that he'd cut off and, and shared that he'd spared his life. And, and that was a game changer for the moment. But what I want you to see is that David demonstrated mercy and humility. Mercy and humility. He, he showed mercy because he spared the life of Saul. Saul was trying to kill David. David could have easily killed Saul, but instead he showed mercy, which is kind of getting into that place that Jesus taught in Matthew 5 when he said, you've heard it said, love your neighbor and hate your enemies. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. I, I think that's being lived out in the life of David right here. And then David demonstrated humility. He refused to touch God's anointed king. David didn't anoint Saul king. Samuel anointed David king, but Saul was the king at the moment. And David recognized God's authority and God's ability to make things right. He didn't take it into his own hands. He said, God, I trust you. I'm going to honor you and not touch your anointed. And by the way, that's why David is called a man after God's own heart. Because of his mercy and because of his humility. So what do we take away from this? Hey, look, whatever your situation is, whatever you're going through, whatever difficulties you're facing, choose uh, mercy and choose humility, and you will win. It may not feel like it in the moment, but I'm just telling you, trust God, and you will win the battle long term. I hope that helps. I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.